immediately transitions to the mount from here. From here, very, very high mount position. Martinez turns up and Paddy gets the back straight away, dropping very nasty shots in here. And I think lessons were learned in that Sorum back fight, chasing that rear naked choke throughout the this whole round. He's no, softly the off. Beautiful work. Paddy, the Paddy is back. Wow. Absolutely flawless performance from Liverpool's own Paddy Pimler. So much more calm and confident. And I'll say it again, the condition that he's in, I think is a big part of that confidence. A huge return for Paddy Pimler. A huge win. What's next for him? Who knows, but we can't wait to find out. And here's the crazy thing. It doesn't look like a very different Matthias, does it? No, no, he's, he's just consistent. He's a, he's like a diesel engine cruising in fourth gear from the first round. He just... You just can't slow him down. He's, he's a tank. But Bonner he, he on the back as, here. Bonner's going to As we oh, say that, what? as we say that. He's going to get that. The wow. Unbelievable. Oh. Wow. Out of nowhere. Wow. He stopped for a moment and Bonner sees the opportunity and jumps on it. It's underneath the neck there and it's game over. You know, sometimes, sometimes when you'll see these situations and the person, they, they expect to have to defend the hooks before they aren't. And you can see here, Matt Bonner goes straight for the neck with no hooks and then pulls him back and throws that top hook over. I mean, that maybe that's why he got caught for a moment yeah. because he was expecting the hooks to come in first before he defended the neck. Incredible. If you're going to stop Frederick, you've got to do it emphatically. You've got to shut him off, take his lungs away. Yeah, and just the fact that, that it looked like it was going the size's way. He was starting to gather momentum. And what doing here? You know, both, I've seen both of these guys compete in grappling tournaments. You know, for a quick second there, you know, very smart grappling from Jack Grant. Maddow's doing a good job of escaping the back, and Jack immediately transitioned into mount. Back now, uh, Maddos has changed and tried to escape the mount and given his back. So this is something you see very, very often, is people try and escape this position. A switch into a guillotine here, arming guillotine. We have seen Jack Grant finish with a guillotine. He switched this guillotine into a dance position. This is strong, and there it is. Wow, There's the submission. Nice. Slick as you like. Jack Grant sliding off the back, straight into the guillotine. Switch that. Correct me if I'm wrong, this is an anaconda. Anaconda, yeah, Mott Goddard always gives me uh, a few switches up. You know, I have a way to remember this. <laughs> the, the, so the arms lock up in the armpit, so yeah, I always say right. A for armpit, A for anaconda. Yeah, anaconda that's the way I remember yeah. it. That's lovely, really nice work. Three point transition there as well, from the back to the guillotine, almost like a joker team, like Jack Hermanson. Thank you, bro. The big. It wasn't set up, but it's powerful. Botti's got so much strength in these wrestling exchanges. We've seen already tying up the guillotine. The elbow is high. This position's strong. It's very strong. There we go. There's the submission. He said he wanted a stop. He got one. The elbow is so tired. There we go. And look how high that elbow goes. When that elbow goes that high, it's impossible to stop the wrist coming through the neck. And the submission is on so fast. Beautiful submission from the young gun. That's 